<laughs> You've been very uh, pleased to book at uh, Lake Notice. Welcome, Professor. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm be happy. I'd be happy. Good. Well, I'd be happy too. I'd be terribly happy to see you here. Now, why don't you uh, explain a little bit about how you first got involved with teaching donkeys to play lacrosse? Back in 1964, I was a little boy and saw a donkey with a big lacrosse stick. <laughs> said to the donkey, Where are you going, little donkey? <laughs> he said, E or <laughs> E or <laughs> So, so the, donkey, the donkey you soon realised was unable to speak back to you. Exactly. <laughs> And I know that this has thrown up one or two problems during training, hasn't it? Communication has been difficult and also sometimes I don't understand my donkeys. <laughs> and how confident are you that your donkeys understand you? They are so clever that when I talk to them, they listen. <laughs> Do you have in training at the moment? About two. <laughs> about, about two. Well, obviously, obviously, I'm not. I'm not going to pin into specifics here. Just talk me through a little bit of the of the, of the daily the daily training process for, for roughly two dollars. <laughs> Morning. I get breakfast and put it in front of them. <laughs> they usually sit down at the table. <laughs> usually muffin, <laughs> porridge with oats. <laughs> And this is this is the diet your doggies prefer. And, and, and does does it work? I mean, are they fit? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I know that it works because I've seen it work. <laughs> see. Uh, so with only two doggies, how are you able to to compete? Holograms. <laughs> Donkeys. Two actual fucking donkeys and loads of hologram. <laughs> During a game, is it easy to tell the difference between the holographic donkeys and the real ones? Not really. <laughs> but if you look closely at the hologram, you notice flickering. <laughs> But your actual donkeys don't flicker. Real donkeys don't flicker. <laughs> what sort of specialised equipment do you have to use for donkey lacrosse? Other than holographic donkeys, of course. Sticks, balls, and goals. <laughs> That's pretty much the same as you'd expect. All the way home. <laughs> I suppose then the next question would have to be, how on earth do your donkeys manage to hold a lacrosse stick? Basically, sellotape. <laughs> Basically, sellotape. Am I right in thinking that you sellotape lacrosse sticks to your donkeys? Of course I do. Otherwise, the donkey would drop the bloody stick. <laughs> So I know that the RSPCA have. Uh, oh, R oh. oh, S. What? <laughs> the R S P C. Fucking A R A 
bunch of cunts. <laughs> visit from the RSPCA, how many donkeys did you have there? 70,000. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, I believe, is when you were training your donkeys uh, uh, in preparation for the Olympics. Yes. That was, oh, that was <laughs> when they were visiting. <laughs> but the two that you have left, you're very optimistic about their chances. Brian and Dave. <laughs> they are so good at lacrosse that they never lose. <laughs> Who have they played against? Argentina. <laughs> Swansea. <laughs> Estonia. And Crackle. <laughs> I believe they drew against the stone. They did that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was the incident with the referee. Well, I saw what happened with the referee. The ref said that the <laughs> ball was passing around <laughs> the hologram. <laughs> and it was not. <laughs> And so what did you do to the referee? Oh, I shot him. <laughs> now I know before every match you have a very special ritual to prepare your two donkeys for a game of lacrosse. But what is that ritual? Usually we sing this song. <laughs> this is the this is the famous song with the, with the wonderful rhyming meter. Yes. yes. Well, I know everybody here would be delighted to hear. Yes. Professor Smith, take it away. Play, play, play the game, boys. You can score a same Gold <laughs> boys, <laughs> you are donkeys <laughs> and look a bit like <laughs> wonkies. <laughs> but play, 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 